So here is a thumbnail that you'll see in the YouTube video, kind of blown up to a larger size. Basically, what this next video series will be about is Pocket Base, Doku, and DigitalOcean. If you haven't heard of Pocket Base, it's a fairly new open source project that I consider kind of like a miniature content management system. And according to, to the website, it says it's a open source backend for your next software as a service and mobile app in one file. Has a real time database, which is SQLite and can handle, they say like 10,000 connections like per second in real time authentication, file storage, and it has an admin dashboard. And so I made a flow chart here that you can see in the upper left of my thumbnail that shows the different parts of this video series. First, I'm going to mention and discuss briefly pockethost.io, which I set up an account there. And then we'll get into using DigitalOcean to set up the environment, which is a VPS or virtual machine, in order to host Doku, which is like a platform as a service, such as Heroku. And then we'll get into setting up Pocket Base. And so using all these tools, as it says on the screen, allows you to build things faster. And I think that's a great thing, depending on the needs of your project, I think this set of technology is good for startups, small projects, medium-sized projects and businesses and organizations. It can do quite a lot and it's pretty fast and it can be scaled up vertically, not horizontally, but it can be scaled vertically depending on the hosting platform that you're using. So it's very exciting and let's go ahead and start getting into some of the more details about all of these tools. So here is a flow chart that I made and it shows there's going to be four parts of this video. I thought it would be good to kind of break it into smaller sections. And so part one, which is this part, we'll be looking at pockethost.io briefly, and then we'll get into setting up DigitalOcean and the VPS or virtual machine, which is Linux. And then we will go about setting up Doku. And then finally, we'll get into the most important part of all this, which is Pocket Base. And we'll be running some commands to see how it's all set up. And then basically, once it's all completed, you will be able to run an application such as this. This is a pocket base application. You can see the URL there. It's actually running on one of my domain names. And so this is running in the environment that I just showed on the flow chart. So it's running inside of DigitalOcean Droplet, which is running a Linux virtual machine, which is running Doku, which is running pocket base. So it's like a thing within a thing within a thing pretty cool and so anyway that's where we we will end up at the end of these videos so here is the pocket host.io and this is a way to set up and deploy a pocket base as it says here in 30 seconds so if you don't want to self host it which that is more interesting to me at this point but i did set up an account here on the pockethost.io and so if you scroll down you can see the main features here you can have it up and running in 30 seconds it's a back end for your next app it's as fast as signing in and signing up no provisioning of servers no docker fiddling just productivity so it's really quick no configuration you get a database which is the SQLite built in, in process, outgoing mail, which I have set that up in my own environment as I briefly showed in the other tab there. SSL, which I set up the SSL certificate during the, the process, which you will see that. And authentication, 
and high concurrency all in one stop. So very exciting. And they go on to mention here the database. It's powered by its own internal SQLite. And as it says here, more performant than MySQL or Postgres. Perfect for powering your next app. Authentication, email and OAuth authentication options work out of the box. Storage, by default it's using local storage, but you can set it up to store your files on an Amazon S3 instance. Pocket House is perfect for hobbyists, low and medium volume sites, and here, as I originally mentioned, Pocket Host and the underlying Pocket Base can scale to well over 10,000 simultaneous connections, which is quite a few. Self-host. When you're ready to take your project in-house, we have you covered. You can export our entire Pocket Host environment along with a Docker file to run it. And what I will be going through in the videos is how to set it up from scratch. And of course, it's open source project, and this is pretty interesting. Powered by Svelte, Vite, TypeScript, PocketBase, and SQLite. That's a great combination of technology. And the entire stack is open source. So this is important. You'll never be locked into the whims of a vendor. And there's some new stuff upcoming. There's a roadmap you can go look at. So I would encourage you, if you don't have time to set up your own environment, that you take a look at this pockethost.io. So that will conclude this part of the video, and in the next video, we'll, we'll get started on doing some configurations. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.